Good evening and thanks so much for watching News 8 Now. I'm Martha Koloski. The Valley View Mall is welcoming back its shoppers once again. About half of the stores in the mall are lifting the gates for tonight and this weekend. News 8 Now's Tyler Job has more. For more than two months before today, you were driving past an empty parking lot at Valley View Mall. Flash forward to May 22nd, the parking lot is filling back up and we can hear the echoes of shoppers <laughs> and the music once again. What brought me back is to support the local community. I wanted to return a couple items I purchased online that didn't work, but the stores weren't open and I wanted to check out and see what was open. And I wanted to kind of return my life to some normalcy. Coming back to the mall was important for Robert, one of the shoppers. I think it's important that we support the local communities and we're able to support those who are trying to get back to work so they can start making a living again. The coronavirus is still looming, but he says it's not a huge concern for him. If I'm looking for the silver lining out of all of this, is that people are taking their hygiene, personal hygiene more seriously that may not, that may not have, because that's going to be key in keeping this down. But Debbie Ender is questioning if COVID-19 spread will be contained enough. It does concern me because I believe the threat is real. I think that people are going out in public and not using safety precautions. Mall General Manager Jeff Odom says the possibility of more cases continues to be on his mind. Always a concern, but we just want to make sure people understand that we're working hard to provide a safe healthy environment for them to come shop. There will continue to be risk involved for mall shoppers and staff. But Robert thinks it won't be long before even more shoppers return. But I do think people would like to get out more. I really do. Well, the mall is open from 11 until 7 Monday through Saturday and then from noon to 6 on Sundays. Well, health officials in La Crosse County are waiting for the bulk of the results from yesterday's testing effort in Onalaska to be completed. The testing site, which was open to all Wisconsin residents with symptoms, only 304 people were tested, but 400 tests were available. County Health Director Jen Rombalski says she is pleased with the turnout, but there are there actually could be cases that are not documented yet. I think, though, that there still are, even with a testing site like this, individuals who don't feel comfortable for whatever reason or weren't available. Um, so we never know that we hit all of the individuals in our community that had symptoms. No new cases are being reported in La Crosse County. Six new cases are being reported in Eau Claire County. Crawford and Trempolo counties are each reporting one new case. Nearly 14,400 positive cases of COVID-19 are reported in Wisconsin. Nearly 500 people have died from the virus. 8,300 people have recovered. And then the number of cases in Wisconsin is up 23% over last week. That is a slight increase in the rate of cases, but the testing capacity in the state has also been more than 14,000 every day for the past week. That is the highest testing level so far in the state since the start of the pandemic. The death rate rose 11% over the week. That is a decrease from last week. $186,000 in grants will help small businesses in La Crosse. The grants were announced just this afternoon by the city of La Crosse. 43 businesses are getting those funds, which they say will, sa which they say will save 372 jobs. The businesses had originally applied for La Crosse's Small Business Relief Program about a month ago, but they did not receive funding in that first round of grants. The total amount now awarded to small businesses after the second round of grants is more than $518,000. In Minnesota, over 800 new cases are reported in that state. That follows the biggest week for testing in the state so far for the virus. 19,000 people have tested positive, 842 people have died. Nearly 12,500 people have recovered. The number of positive cases in the state is up 33% over last week. That is a decrease of more than half of their percentage increase from just two weeks ago. The number of deaths did jump 23%, a slight slowdown in that number from the week before. The Minnesota State Fair will not be held this year. The Great Minnesota Get Together was set to start in August, but fair organizers cited the difficulties of social distancing at the event that brings in millions of people. The 12-day event is set to return August 26th of 2021. In Iowa, more than 16,500 people have tested positive for coronavirus. 425 people have died, but there are a little more than 9,000 recoveries 
One additional case is being reported in Alamakee County. The number of positive cases in that state did rise only 17% over last week's total. And then the number of deaths was up 26%. In both cases, the rate of cases has decreased from the previous week. One local organization rolled up to today's Food Drive Friday with a big donation. The La Crosse Rotary Club gave $1,000 to the Hunger Task Force. The funds come from a disaster relief grant the club applied for through the International Rotary Organization. One Food Drive or organizer says this donation, along with the generosity from the entire community, really goes a long way. We're in uncertain times. We don't know how long this situation may last. Uh, we're hoping to at least get the supply to take us through the fall and winter months, which it looks like we're, we're on track to have that happen, which is great. And as of last week, more than 55,000 pounds of food has been donated. The last Food Drive Friday will be held a week from today. And thanks so much for joining us for this coronavirus update. We also hope you can join us tonight at 10.